Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. I'm your host, Sei Xu, and I'm excited to talk to Donald Doherty, a wedding photographer based in Northern Ireland today. Donald, thanks for joining us. Great to be here. Thank you for having me here, Sessu. Absolutely. Donald, you and I have been chatting a little bit about what you do and how you do it, uh, and you've just, you're just in the midst of launching uh, an extension to your new website, or your, your current website. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you've done and why. Okay, great. Um, well, like I say, thank you so much for having me here. Um, I'm excited to, to chat to you, and you've been a great uh, advocate and it really helped me out to think along the way. Um, my background before I became a wedding photographer was in PR and marketing. So um, I went to university and did a business and marketing degree and I went and, and did a master's, uh, which I didn't actually finish because at the time I set up a PR company and started a master's at the same time. Uh, and so I kind of had a, around about 10, 10, 11 years of kind of studying and working in the PR industry for some of the world's largest brands and set up my own PR company in 2007 and the business was growing and growing and growing. At the same time, we set up a kind of like a promotions and, and modeling agency part to that business as well. Um, so around about 2009, um, I'd just been shortlisted as Entrepreneur of the Year. Um, I had around about 80 people working for me part-time, three to four people working for me full-time in the office. Um, and I absolutely hated what I was doing <laughs> because <laughs> because it was pretty much a manager of people. I wasn't actually getting to be creative, which is the thing that really attracted me to kind of PR and everything as well. So um, I love to write and, and uh, obviously photography as well as so a creative outlet. Um, so around about that time, I got invited to Australia to shoot a wedding. Um, at that point, I had been you know doing a few friends' weddings. And um, this was actually a guy that I'd worked in the same company with in England. Uh, so we got an email saying, we would absolutely love you to come and shoot our wedding in Australia just before Christmas, and it will take care of everything, <laughs> which was really nice. Uh, so I flew over to Australia, 19th of December, standing in a vineyard, sun split in the sky. The couple were incredible, and I just thought, bloody hell, this is what I need to be doing for the rest of my life. Um, <laughs> so that, that was kind of a, a bit of a turning point for me, and I know a lot of people out there have those uh, kind of light bulb moments absolutely and, uh, yeah. you know they, they, they kind of realize that they, they want to make that change so um, so then yeah I made a transition from a PR career into the photography industry that was around about four and a half years ago and at the time I had the idea to I think when I joined the industry I realized that a lot of photographers are brilliant at the art of photography um, but when it actually comes to like the business side of it or the marketing and, and that side of it a lot of them maybe aren't really as good at, at the art of business. Mm -hmm. um, so at that time I realized there was an issue um, and I approached, uh, there's a, a kind of a development agency in Northern Ireland called Invest Northern Ireland. They probably have these sorts of things all over the world um, and they, they fund businesses to help them to um, develop, you know, it's, it's kind of grants and things from the government. Um, so I approached them at that time with this idea to do uh, a website that would help photographers to try and uh, you know create a business and a life they love and try and master the business elements of uh, running a photography business. At that time, uh, the feedback was, you're not ready to do this. Uh, people will not take you seriously until you have went away and done what you're going to teach people how to do. Um, so pretty much I took that on board and I concentrated on my photography business for the next sort of three or four years. And, you know, everything's been going great. You know, last year I shot 40, uh, 46 weddings in nine countries around the world. Oh, wow. Um, and, yeah, yeah, it was pretty, <laughs> it was pretty nice. And uh, I shot an elopement in Mexico with just me and the couple. And I had to do, I uh, had to be their uh, witness and everything. So um, definitely my business has went from strength to strength. And, you know, this year I've won Fashion Photographer of the Year, Creative Photographer of the Year. And so, you know, I think that I've developed a really, really incredible business. Um, kind of along the way, a couple of years ago, I think I got to the point where a lot of photographers get in their business where I was up late every night editing and, you know, my girlfriend turned around and said, this is this is not good, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, I think at that point I started to kind of really look at the work-life balance side of it. So um, over the next year, I worked a lot on kind of business efficiency and on customer experience and actually started to kind of re uh, recapture my life again and, and to actually have a life outside of the business and uh, actually at that same year because of the processes that I put in place uh, the turnover of the company actually grew 40% that year 
um, as well as being able to reclaim the, the sort of personal life. So um, I started getting invited to do speaking opportunities as well at like SWPP convention in London. Right. Um, mm-hmm. And they wanted me to tell people, you know, how I had done what I had done. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of a long-winded way to say this. So around about a year ago, um, I started to have a think about this Engage project again. I felt that things were kind of getting there with the business and it demonstrated that I could grow a business and create a really, really good photography business. Um, so I just kind of came back to the idea. We applied for funding and pretty much have been working on it for the last year. Um, and the website is just about to go live. Um, and every so basically what the site is going to deliver is every two weeks there's going to be a, a brand new video that's going to help people uh, to kind of it's a bite-sized tutorial to help them with a specific aspect of their business uh, and the idea is that if they watch that every two weeks and implement the lessons that are contained within each episode um, they'll, they'll be able to you know really develop an incredible business um, the cool thing is as well is that um, I've been able also to speak to some of the world's leading photographers through uh, through what I do. I now write for Photo Professional in the UK as well. So you know, I've interviewed Jasmine Starr, Jerry Johannes. Uh, for Gage, we've filmed Mike Cologne, Lindsay Adler, um, Meg Courtney. So so many. The, the list just goes on and on and on. So most episodes also include an interview with a really prominent uh, photographer as well. Because that's the stuff that I like to watch. You know, that's mm-hmm. stuff I'm interested in. I like right. to hear about people's journey. Uh, like uh, what I'm doing right now, right? Exactly. You know, <laughs> and it's, it's interesting to hear, you know, because I think as well, doing it via video, yeah. you get a really good sense of somebody. I sure. think being able to actually see, yeah. look somebody in the eyeball, yeah. although webcam, you know, I don't know, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you get a really good sense of what, what that person's like, you know? Yes. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's kind of the idea. And it's been an amazing project. Outside of that, there's kind of like workshops and the speaking opportunities have really developed and so every two weeks I go and I fly somewhere within the UK or Ireland and I do a speaking event um, to, you know, a couple of hundred photographers and um, yeah, so just kind of excited to get going with it now and put it out there to the world and right. um, it's, it's kind of crazy because just been working on it for a year behind the scenes um, and then you're just kind of about to put it out there and, and when does and it launch? When does it launch, Donald? And it actually launches on Monday. Monday, okay. And I'm, yeah. I'm looking at, uh, I've got a sneak peek, uh, my fellow photographers, because I'm special, of course. Uh, and uh, I, I'm looking at the page, and it, you've got three options at the very top. It's the, the business plan course, the branding course, and the social media course. Uh, was that intentional? Was that intentional on your part to say, well, I'm going to split uh, th- this, entire sense, uh, this entire teaching experience into three different core elements and then and see what we can do with each one i mean is that was that well tell, tell us a little bit more about so why those three things first okay um so do you know what there was actually something we thought a lot about at the start um because i write for photo professional um i'm writing a lot of content for them every month so usually i write one or two articles for the magazine every month um so when we actually sat down to start developing the content i'd actually already written the social media stuff and i'd written the branding stuff already um, but then I started to think about, you know, it's not the right way to do it, uh, to go out and tell people about social media when they don't have some other essentials in place. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I guess like the, in marketing terms, you know, social media is the sexy marketing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, right. sometimes you have to actually get down to the, get down and dirty. And uh, a lot of bad euphemisms here, sexy and down and dirty, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, you've got to get down and dirty and you've actually got to tackle things like, understanding what your vision is for your business actually what you want to achieve because that stuff is really really important because you can't really um, understand what direction to take and how to organize every single decision you make within your business unless you have a really great core understanding of the reasons you're doing things so um, so yeah so the idea was then we filmed and we worked on content for the business plan collection and all that stuff is currently being filmed and the idea is that um, I guess instead of just kind of putting courses out there, which people can watch as kind of a single course, mm-hmm. um, we wanted to kind of make this a, a real community and build a community around it. So the fact is that we're we're doing it, you know, once every two weeks uh, with, with the episode. So also I think that it gives people an opportunity to actually do what's contained within that episode. Because sometimes when I go to a seminar or go to watch a course, Too many there's ideas. so much information yeah. and you're kind of like, whoa, it's like, you know, you don't know where to start. And you don't start. 
And you don't start because it's kind of like too much. Too much. So the, the way that we've kind of broken it down is that we hope that people will right. be able to take each one and, and th- around each lesson, hopefully there'll be a discussion, you know, Absolutely. through our Facebook page and through social media at how you, people are getting on with it. So this is year one. Year two, we've got a, another set of courses coming. Um, so that'll be a brand new set of things. So we wanted it to be flexible as well. So people don't need to necessarily, you know, subscribe. It's, it's £89, $149 to subscribe for a year. Um, you know they can definitely do that. They'll and, and this. Do they get do they get all three courses or is it just one course? Uh, absolutely. So what they'll get is well they'll get twenty six videos in a year. I think it's it's almost all the courses. There's two videos that will come the next year. Um, so if they subscribe, they'll be subscribed for a year. They get a huge discount. Um, they also get the full interview. So each episode includes. Uh, maybe five to ten minutes of each interview because we want to kind of keep it snappy and pull out the relevant mm-hmm. point. Sure. But if they subscribe for a year, they actually have access to the whole one hour or one and a half hour interview that I've done with those different people um, because they've kind of got in depth and do lots of other stuff outside of, for example, the first episode's in Vision. Um, and Mike Colon and I spoke for, I think, 50 minutes. And, you know, I think we pulled out 10 minutes where we really talked about the Vision part. And the rest of it was just about you know, Mike's life and Mike's kind of aspiration. And we also spoke to uh, Raven Mathis in the first episode as well. Um, and again, you know, we pulled out the relevant part for, for Vision. And then the rest of it is great content. You know, it's maybe not relevant to that episode, but, it's, it, you know, you're going to take a lot away from that as well. Sure. Um, so we wanted to be flexible. So you can subscribe, you can buy a course if there's something, um, you know, very specific that you want to know about. So if it's social media, you can only purchase that course. And again, you'll avail of a discount or you can just purchase the individual videos. So again, it's, it's pretty flexible. And um, I guess we'll see how people will uh, consume this. You know, maybe everybody will subscribe or maybe people prefer to kind of pick and choose, you know, each video that, that they want to have. Sure. And typically, how long are these videos? You said five minutes. Is that right? Uh, you know what, it's kind of different because some of them are, I think uh, the shortest one is like maybe 10, 11 minutes. Oh, wow. Um, and then the longer ones are like 30, 30, 35 minutes. Okay. So um, it really depends. But then there's a lot of bonus content. So while an episode might be 10 minutes, you may have two hours of interviews connected to that interview. If you are a subscriber, that you can access the, the interviews as well. So it's, you know what, it's a ton of content. It's unreal. Um, and you know, I know myself. You know, I've taken so much from it just watching the uh, and having the insight to chat to these people. And um, of course, you know, it's just been it's, it's, it's been great. As I'm sure you do actually from from doing this as well. Absolutely, I see 27 videos, right? And uh, that's your is that your your goal is to get to 27? I know a few of these are set to begin only in 2015. Uh, and yeah. So right now we. Sh- we actually shot the first 12. 12, yeah, yeah. Um, and the next ones are going to be shot, uh, they, they start in February, so we'll probably shoot those in um, like December or January. Okay. The, thing, the thing is actually it's unreal because we, we actually hired, um, we, we have a couple of people that have been hired in to work on this as well. Um, and the content for the business course, I had actually written a lot of content already for it. And we probably spent another five months working on the content as well. So um, it it's definitely takes takes a long time, but um, I think that that that'll really show. I think in the quality of the of the content that people are going to get from it. Yeah, all of this for one hundred and fifty dollars. Is that is that right? Sorry. You, you've got all, Sorry? All, all of these courses for one hundred and fifty dollars for the year. Is that right? That's right. Yep. And and uh, is this is this tied to uh, a forum of any kind where people can actually communicate it with you or with uh, each other and and talk about the uh, the courses themselves and perhaps ask questions to, with, with each other? Is that is that an option? Yeah. So right now, actually, so yeah, it's one hundred and fifty dollars for the whole year. So um, again, the idea is that hopefully we made it really accessible and, and put it at a price point that a lot of people it's very very affordable. And I think the value is going to be huge. Um, at the moment, we have a Facebook page. Our goal is that once we start to you know, kind of build things up, we're going to actually open a group and then allow people to kind of communicate within the group and everything. And okay. uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think that social experience is really important. But right now, we'd love people to communicate with us via the, the Facebook page. Um, and then the group is going to, I guess, that's, that's going to come down the line when, when things develop. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Donald, I you know this is an exciting time for you. I know uh, with with the launch of a an extension to your new site, uh, you're 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 sort of pivoting from being just a photographer to being this this market leader, this teacher, 
uh, you know, this person that actually someone's going to be looking up to, uh, it's a pretty heavy responsibility, right? Uh, and, and, and having seen how you've worked in the past and how involved you are in the community, you're a writer, you're a speaker already, uh, it seems like a natural progression for you to make this change from being a wedding photographer to uh, literally a, a, an instructor or teacher uh, for, of a lot of, a lot of photographers. Um, how, when it comes down to it, who is this, uh, who is this for? Who, is the, who, are, who are these videos for? Okay, so I guess... Are they, are, they for, um, are they for the beginner photographer? Are they for a photographer who is sort of stuck and can't find his or her way? Uh, what's your target audience uh, amongst, amongst photographers? Because yeah. there's so many different photographers out there. Yeah, so definitely just to come back to your first point, you know, yeah, it's definitely a pivot. It's a, it's a big change within, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm doing. And uh, I guess, you know, I absolutely love what I do. Um, and I'm really, really passionate. I never want to stop shooting weddings. You know, I would never, ever want right. to just be a trainer or, you know, that's that's definitely not my goal. Because I think if I was, I would be doing what I was doing before uh, when I was a PR consultant. So it's not really uh, what I want to do definitely is, uh, you know, uh, keep doing the photography, but I want to give back to the community and share the information and 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 make the industry better. You know, so hope that this is this is really going going to do that. Um, yeah. So in ter terms of who it's for, there's actually a number of different groups. There's definitely people who are just starting out in the industry that just literally don't know you know where what to do right now. And mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot of people that transition into the photography community who possibly aren't coming from you know maybe a professional background and that you know they maybe haven't. Um, I was very lucky because I did go to university and well I was dragged through university <laughs> you know and uh, no not that's actually not true but uh, I think uh, you know I definitely you know uh, I went through university and I had that marketing degree so I had that you know that business sense and, and that kind of behind me already so there's a lot of people that are transferring into photography and yes they do have transferable skills from whatever it is that they transitioned in from um, but definitely they, they they find kind of the the business elements and the marketing side of it's so so hard to get on top of so that that's a huge one there's also you know a lot of people out there right now who are really really struggling I think within the industry and you know they're running their business but they're kind of like running on the same spot they're never able to move forward and get to a place where their, their business is in the right spot. So we're definitely trying to help those people um, to kind of maybe look at what they're doing and structure possibly in a different way so that they can um, definitely have a, a better business. Because, you know, um, when I think of that photographer that is sitting there at their desk at 10, 11, 12 a night, you know, and it's, it's very sad to me that we're photographing these amazing occasions in the lives of our clients. Um, and I think a lot of us actually miss those things in our own lives because we're so busy. Mm -hmm. We're kind of busy fools, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to help out the busy fools <laughs> <laughs> and the crazy fools. Um, and also, um, you know, I think um, there's a lot of people who maybe have been in the industry for a long time and the likes of social media and everything, it's just a little bit hard to kind of get their, their head around about how they they approach that. And we want to help those people. And, and that's why they're pretty bite-sized, you know, so we're trying to break it down. So... You know, the business, each each course as well has is kind of targets, I guess, different people as well. So the business plan course, possibly there's some people who are already through that process and, and feel they maybe don't require that information and want to dip into the brand. Maybe the brand is the big thing they're working on right now. So we're coming to them with a branding course. Uh, but I think actually this, the startup course will actually help them to look at how they structure the business and identify actually how to, how to do it a little bit better. Um, I must say, actually, we've, we've had amazing help from uh, some sponsors within the industry as well. So actually along the way, we've, we've actually spoken, you know, I've spoken to yourself as part of Thirst Release Mentor Auction and, you know, the feedback that you have given is actually, it's like some of those like aha moments, you know, and it's like also that I get that when I'm teaching people, they're like, oh, why did I never think of that? You know, things that you have said to me, we have incorporated into this project. That's great. Um, you know, and likewise, you know, Queensbury, our, our Queensbury albums are our primary sponsor. Um, and, you know, Queensbury has actually been amazing in supporting us in all kinds of ways. But they're awesome. They're really they're am amazing, you know, and even, yeah. you know, the information that we've, We've got from Stephen and Joe and and the rest of the team. You know, they they've really really helped us actually to think about how we can make this really really special. Um, we also have you know Light Blue Software in the UK who sponsored the business plan course, uh, Sim Imaging who sponsored uh, the branding course, and the Design Co uh, who has sponsored um, the social media course. The Design Co is actually. 
Um, the girl that developed the website, Melissa Love, she did my site and she's done Zach and Jody's uh, website. People have probably been uh, aware of that. She did the website as well. So that's, that's her new company, the Design Co, uh, where people can get kind of like branding kits and stuff. So, you know, we've had a really good team. And also like the video, the guys that we got involved in the video, they're called Cinematic Tide. And they're a wedding cinematography company. Mm -hmm. uh, but we were really keen to try and work with somebody that could give us a very lifestyle look because part of, part of the episodes are in the studio. Uh, but some of them are kind of out and about and showcasing Derry where I live in Ireland. So we're really keen actually to show, you know, the city and give it a, an authentic feel as well. So sure. it's kind of a mix of like Skype interviews, some stuff in the studio and then kind of showing you kind of Derry and, and, and kind of showing you around and stuff. So I think each episode is very interesting. You know, there's a lot going on. Excellent. Wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, Donald. I appreciate uh, the time. I know you're running off to uh, a wedding uh, or prepping for a wedding uh, to, for tomorrow. Um, and I appreciate the time you've given me uh, in, in sort of discovering this new facet about your website and your, your work. Um, my last question to you is this, um, you know, based on your PR background, how much of that comes into play when, when it comes to marketing for photographers? I mean, how much are you going to say, oh, I know, I know a good deal about uh, PR and marketing and I'm going to try and teach that uh, to photographers. Is that a, a good sizable chunk of what you are going to be teaching us? Absolutely. And, you know, we've got a blog as well. It's going to run alongside the site. So we're going to share a lot of content in the blog in addition to the video. So that's going to be free content from there. And, um, you know, I think when I became a photographer, um, I actually realized that because definitely I've always had a passion for marketing. Um, and it's something I just love good marketing. And um, when I joined the photography industry, I realized that, some photographers, photographers, some of them out there, are some of the best marketers that I have ever seen in any industry. Um, you know, the strategies that they use are unreal. Um, so, you know, I think what I have done is pull together the past experience I've had, pull together strategies that possibly, you know, other people are, are employing within the industry to grow their business. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's definitely going to be a huge element, element of that. And, you know, um, it's changed a lot, I think, as well with social media. But I think the the core, kind of core thing is, you know, to be interested in people and and try and serve people and try and help people. And that that that's I think, you know, out of all this sort of PR marketing anything else, I mean, it's it's free to do first of all. So absolutely uh, good advice. You know, if you can go out there and just help people and serve people and 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 do things for other people, maybe without, you know, expecting anything in return. I think that that's going to really, really benefit you. So, um, but we're going to share lots of other strategies as well. And like I say, I've worked with huge companies and we're going to tell people how to do, how to do that for their own business. So wonderful. Wonderful. Cool. Donald, thank you again. I, I look forward to catching up with you when the rest of the videos are deployed, uh, later on in the year, uh, or early part of next year. Um, until then, I'll sign off. Take care. All right. Thank you very much. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.